Hello there. In this video, we're going to check out a noise and texture plugin in Figma and how you could use it on your designs. So let's dive in. Okay, so I'm in Figma. As you can see, I have a frame and I have some text here that says hello there. And then to the side, I've got a rectangle and I've just left that there. It's got no stroke, no fill, no effects, no nothing. So I'm going to select the rectangle on the right and I'm going to go up to my plugins and I'm going to click on noise and texture. Now it loads the plugin and we can't see anything at the moment. So what I'm going to do is drag the rectangle into the frame. And there we go, that seems to be in the frame. And let's just place that below the text. And let's start having a look at some of the patterns and some of the things that we can use within this plugin. So let me just change the color for a moment. So now if I zoom in a little bit, so as you can see, it's done the first random static pattern. Um, I'm going to go through these different patterns that we have and you can get different effects and you can actually control the effect and how it looks which is really good so maybe this would be cool for say landing page designs for a website so let's go through some of the others so we've got another pattern here that looks quite cool let's keep going through these and let's get to one actually let's skip through all of them I just want to see what's available okay that looks quite cool so let's go down to some of the settings so we've got size here let's increase the size and see what that does okay let's bring it back down a little bit yeah there we go so we can see more of it here we do get a preview up here on the plugin as well let's see what happens when we increase the setting okay seems to have changed at this moment. Let's go up to phase. It kind of blurs it. As you can see in the preview, it's kind of blurring the pattern a little bit. Let's see if this does anything. Let's change the color and let's make this a, make it like a purple, because we're on a dark black. Okay, that looks quite cool. Let's just drop the size down a little bit. Let's bump the opacity right up. You've got lots of different blend modes that you can explore, but we'll stick with normal for now. So you've got some options here, add to layer, export. So this is really good. If you're a developer, you can export the code. Um, you can go to video, you can change some of the settings for video. And for image, you've just got download PNG. Okay, so that's that example. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just duplicate this frame. Let's just duplicate that out again. I'm going to click on the rectangle layer. Let's just get rid of that again. Let's run the plugin. So it's an empty rectangle. Okay, now the plugin's loaded. Let's change the color. Let's go to kind of a, a red. Let's change it to something a bit crazy. So there's lots of different options in here that you could use. I think they're all really good actually. They all look really cool. I'm going to go across to animated now. Now it gives you the preview because you can stop and play the preview at the top. I really like the flexibility it's given you. So you can go in and you can change colors here. So just changed one of the colors on the animation. Again, I think with this animation, you've got lots of customizations. You can export it again. You can export the code so you can customize the width and height. And then you can just grab the code, say from the React section, copy and paste that into whatever coding tool that you're using and get that animation working. So really good if you're a designer handing over to a developer and you want to give them access to this code, you can just copy and paste it for them. Let's have a look at some of the other animations that we have here. So that one looks quite cool. That one's pretty full on. Let's go through, let's see what else we have. What's this last one here? So it's just like clouds moving, mountains, and again, We've got a good level of customization here. You can adjust the speed of the animation as well. So really good, lots and lots of flexibility with these animations. So you can customize them and then click on export and give the code to the developer. So I'd encourage you to check out this plugin. It's called Noise and Texture. It seems to be free as a plugin within Figma. It offers a lot of flexibility uh, and there's a lot of cool features in there. So check it out. It's called Noise and Texture. Okay, that's it for this video. Like and subscribe, add some comments, check out some other videos on my channel, and I will see you in the next video.